Guys, this is Classical Conversations Cycle 2, Week 3 from the 5th edition. Who's excited to do some science right here, right now? Let's do this. Baby, we're children of summer. We're meant to be free. Party, we're not like the others. No reason to be. and welcome back to our channel. My name is Sarah and this is Rich and Sarah Learning As We Grow. If you are new here to our channel, welcome. We invite you to hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss one of our vlogs, one of our Classical Conversations homeschooling video tutorials, and so much more. I am the director of a homeschooling community called Classical Conversations in the Pasadena, California area, and this video is actually intended for the tutors in my community so that they have a better understanding of what they're going to be doing and presenting to their students for their science experiments. So, without further ado, even if you are not one of the tutors in our community, I invite you to stay as I show you some tips and tricks to presenting this science experiment with your students. So here we go. So for today's experiment, you will need to get your Janice Van Cleves 201 Awesome Magical Bazaar and Incredible Experiments book. Uh, tutors in our community, I do have this book on hand, um, and so if you need to look at it for reference, you can reference it from me, um, from our library here. So today's experiment is number nine, and it is called See Through, right here. And the purpose of this experiment is to tr determine how Saturn can be seen through its rings. How can that happen? Let's find out. All right, tutors, to complete this project with your students, you will need a few um, items and supplies, all things that you will find in your tutor box if you are a tutor with the Pasadena community. You will need a marker, scissors, a ruler, glue, white poster board paper, a pencil, and a, whoop, dropped it, <laughs> a straight pen or brad or something to poke into the eraser tip of the pencil. Now we're ready to start. So a little bit of background information. We know that when we look at the planet Saturn, it's most famous for the rings that we see around the planet. And so those rings are made up of asteroid belts and different pieces of rocks and ice and all sorts of things. But what we wanna figure out is with those rings around Saturn, the planet, how are we actually able to see the planet through the rings? Okay, to start off, you're going to take your ruler and you're going to use your poster board white paper and you want your um, three different strips that you're going to cut. You want them to be um, at least one by six inches. So six inches in length, length and about an inch in thickness. So let's go ahead and cut out our three strips. All right, now that I have my three strips all cut out, you're going to want to lay your strips down, evenly space the strips so that their centers cross and then glue the centers of the strips together. So we would do something along the lines of this. Okay, and then we're going to want to make sure that that's pretty well spaced and we're gonna glue them together in the center. All right, so there you have them laid out. You're going to take your ruler and your marker and you're going to place your ruler on one of the ends and what you're wanting to do is you're going to find the half inch mark which is right about there and let me see if I can hold the camera still and do this. You're going to want to draw a line okay that goes whoop. let's see if I can get that very well all the way down okay so you're gonna to want to make that line all the way down at the half inch mark so that it looks something like this. You want to go ahead and do that on each of the half inch marks on each of the strips of paper. So let's do that. All right, friends, it should look something like this. You have your paper is glued together and you have a black line on the half inch mark um, from the start of the paper until a half inch in. Now you're gonna take your uh, ruler and instead of doing the half inch mark, you're going to mark it at the one inch mark on each of these so that you will have two thick black lines on each of the strips. So here we go. All right, so now that all of your black lines are on your strips of paper, you're going to take your brad or a pin and you're going to insert that through the paper and into the pencil. So you may need the help of an adult to do this um, if you're a student. So obviously you the tutor, you may wanna um, enlist a parent or parent helper, grandparent, whoever to help the children do this. So let me kind of take this 
and I'll show you when we're done. All right, so I ended up actually just using a thumbtack because that seemed to work the best and just to kind of stay the best. So you can kind of play around with this, guys. I will have thumbtacks, I will have straight pens for you, and I also have like staples, and if we needed to, I have brads. But I find that the thumbtack works the best. So if I have this um, pencil with the strips on it, and you guys see if I turn it very fast, whoa! <laughs> And you see if I, so I have the pencil with the strips, and as you can see, if I turn it very fast, do you see that right there? You can see the rings, and probably you guys can even do faster than this, but I'm trying to film and do it. You can see the rings, if you notice, the two black rings are seen, but you can see through the spinning blades still, right? So this is exactly like Saturn, right? You can see the black rings, but yet you can see through the blade. Let's talk about that a little bit. So what exactly happens when I spin this little guy, right? And you're able to see the rings. Your eyes are blending in the black color, right? So that it appears to be one ring. Your eyes are giving you the illusion that these actual black lines are becoming solid rings. So here we have a closer look at the picture of the rings of Saturn. And if you look closely, you can see that the rings around Saturn are made of chunks of ice and rock. And their movement, it's the movement of the ice and rocks and the fast rapid movement that appears to be a continuous surface as does the movement of the black marks on the spinner. So all these little rocks that move and spin around, they make it look as if Saturn actually has a thick ring around it. But we know better that it's just tons of rocks and ice Ice that appear to make the illusion of a solid ring. So you guys, that is today's experiment number nine, see-through. It's a really fun experiment. Now, let me tell you, tutors, you do have an entire half an hour, 30 minutes to complete this. So I will have some different books on planets, on Saturn, on Saturn's rings. I will have photos for you printed out, just like I showed you right here on my computer, of Saturn's rings, how they appear to be, the illusion of the rings, and then actually what they're actually made of, a picture of the rock and um, the ice and all the sediment up close. So you can kind of elaborate a little bit more and draw this lesson out by the help of different books and photos and questions. Ask your kids questions. Give a lot of the scientific method preview beforehand before you even start. Ask them what they think the rings are made out of. Really kind of draw this out for 30 minutes. My tutors in my group, I will provide you with lots of little ideas and tips and tricks to make this lesson go really well. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. It is a great lesson. All ages will love it. You, might, you may even want to, you know, first just show them the experiment and then you know and do this with your actual one that you made and then maybe break them off into groups with the parents and let them make their own to add time and to let them try this you know in their own way all right you guys thank you for watching today's video this has been classical conversations cycle two I don't even know if I said that at the beginning thank you guys so much for being here please don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you back here in a day or so with week four and I will be placing all of the science videos up here um, throughout all of CC cycle two so I hope you enjoy it and I hope you come back for more bye guys on your heart every beat is taking me over